Are you struggling on customs playing solo? This is personally my favorite map in the game. I just love the layout of it, the rotations, constant PvP, and honestly, it has some pretty good loot despite what other people say. In this video, I'm gonna focus on showing you some raids I played solo. Nothing too crazy happened, we got a few kills here and there, but I just wanna show you how I go about playing customs and also what areas I like looting. This video is mainly going to be focused around Fortress or Stronghold in the middle of the map. I think that has the best loot in this map. So I tend to go there and loot the dark room and things like that relatively often because it fills up my bag and then I can get out of the raid really quickly. So I'm just going to have the clips playing in the background. You're going to see a few raids that I had and I'm going to explain where I go, what I do and things like that. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Leave a like and subscribe if you do. So in this particular clip that you're seeing now, we spawn by the giving tree. So what I do when I spawn there is I simply check the giving tree, loot that med bag and go in the back corner to check if the stash is up. After that, I run straight to fortress because we're probably going to be one of the first ones there. There's only one spawn that can get there before you and that's the person that spawns next to crack house. So you just have to bear that in mind that when you're running there, someone could already be in here but the chances are quite low. The first place that I like looting the most and I think is the best loot is the dark room. So this is the one with all the weapon boxes, the med boxes, it's got two jackets and some loose loot can spawn on the beds and on the shelves I believe. So the next room I like to hit which is on the same floor is the one with the bunk beds. So this one has two duffel bags, it can have vodka spawns on the side and a green weapon box. Also make sure you check on the ground for loose food or things like a gold chain and things like that. But generally after looting these two things, I tend to just leave because I'm not trying to min-max so much since I actually have quite a lot of money already. But if you go up on the top floor, there's a lot of technical crates, ration crates, or toolboxes and things like that. So I guarantee you if you come here and loot the entire building, you're going to have a full bag and you're going to be happy to get out. So after I've looted up and I'm ready to leave, I head towards Mechanic. I think this is the best and safest way to get to RUAF in terms of your extract. And I like sort of running along the right side, getting into Mechanic and then just going straight through and out. Now in this particular raid, we did get into a little bit of a fight here. So I'll show you how that played out and I'll let the audio play live of what I was saying and thinking. All right, let's go through here. Is that a scav? I can hear something shuffling. Okay, that's one dead. Definitely wasn't a scav. That was a scav. Let me see if I can maybe just prone and loot this guy safely. What the hell? Someone just naded us. There's someone out to the right there. Oh god. So that was a nice two PMC kills to end off that raid. Just a quick note, that garage area is really hot right now because of the setup quest. A lot of people are camping it with shotguns to try and get their PMC kills, so watch out when you run through. But as you noticed, on that second guy, I heard him out to the right, so I thought the best way that I could get an easy peek on him was simply to go out the back and around, and then I could be the one to peek him, rather than running through one door and risk getting one tapped. And obviously it worked out. We ended up extracting with a lot of loot after these two guys, so this one was a pretty successful raid. Moving into the next raid. In this one we spawn closer towards new gas. So what I elect to do is run straight to this building with the power and get the power on. Since you guys know I love going to fortress and looting that up. 
if I get the power on, I can go freely to Fortress, and when I get there, I can loot the entire building and get straight out with low risk of extract. This one is a very good spawn if you are planning to loot Fortress, just because of how riskless it is once you get there to extract. So, I decide to turn on the power, and then you can see me sort of looting around here. I have found a Bitcoin in this underground section of this building before, so I choose to check it and just loot other little things here and there. From there, I move on, as normal, towards Fortress. I run straight through, go to Fortress, and then I start looting. Another really good camping spot that people choose to do right now is in the dark room. People can actually jump up on the right, and I am aware of this, so every time I run in there, I sort of hug the left side just to check if anybody is there. And in this case, there was somebody ratting there. So always keep an eye out on that, but after we kill him, we pretty much have the whole building to ourselves and we're free to loot. Now the key that you need to extract in ZB13 is the factory emergency key. So this one's not too expensive right now, I think it's around 100k for 20 uses, but it is really, really amazing. Having this as an extract in the middle of the map is super convenient and reduces a lot of risk. The last clip I have for you guys is actually one not based around looting. I'm going to show you how I used map knowledge and knowing the spawns to my advantage to kill two absolute level 50 and above chads and get out with their gear. I'm going to let this play out so you can hear what I'm thinking at the time and then I'll go into more details later. Let's see if we can catch him off guard. I think I hear him. Or I heard something out this way. Okay, so he's got a friend. Just ran this way. Did I miss on him? We got him. Oh man. Alright, whilst you watch me loot those two chads, I'm gonna explain what happened there. So I spawned in a factory and I knew that if I ran to this other building in front of me, there were people that could spawn behind there and come through that area. So I rushed there as soon as I spawned in. Luckily for me, as I got in there and I was looking to the left, I heard footsteps outside to the right. So there is a spawn back that way and people normally do the jump over and come over to head towards old gas. So I went outside after hearing that and then I saw two people stomping across. We get the face tap on the first one, so it's very lucky that we eliminate him and we're now in a 1v1 situation. I think that I hit the second guy, even though I kind of whiffed my shots, but that's when I decide to sort of hold the W key and play aggressively. I don't want to give him time to met up, I don't want to give him time to sort of think about what he wants to do and reposition or anything. I want to keep the pressure on him because he's probably under pressure given that we just killed his teammate. So I choose to nade it and then sort of wrap around to the left side so I can get an angle towards the area that he's in. Now we exchange some gunfires and again I whiff my shots but we managed to take him out. I mean Using point fire at the end there, I couldn't really see him, but I knew that he was low and I was aiming in the right direction. So sometimes point firing is just better because you don't have time to ADS. It worked for me in that particular instance. Now after I loot these boys up, which you've been watching now, I choose to go in, turn the power on and head to fortress because that's probably going to be the easiest way we're going to extract. Rather than going into Fortress, I run straight underground from the train tracks and extract immediately because I like the gear that I've gotten off them and I don't want to be greedy. Anyways guys, this is quite an unusual video where I just try to explain how I play customs, how I loot on customs and sort of how I move around the map. I hope this was helpful and if you enjoyed this video, hit that like and subscribe button.
Thanks a lot. I'll see you in the next one.